Ick. Enchantress, Bat, and Pango, much more reliant on us. US. Radiant Afterwards. Eh. Base. Boundless. The Jingu came after, though. And an army. He's going to lose his tree in behind him and probably going to die himself. He's got a fairy fire. Mischief. But there's no escaping from Tofu and Ace. <laughs> Wrong. Double Bracer also tanking up. Uh, did he have that second point in Jingu? Instead, opted to go for Tree Dance so he can try to close the gap. And we said that XM. there's going to be a rotation six minutes in. Five and a half. They're making a move in the mid lane. XM Straight onto the very team. dead. Melt Strike is ready. Maybe a bit of damage back on the Celery before he dies. XM staying alive. Refraction back up. But the damage over time. Substantial stuff. Did buy enough time, though. Pushing Q to take down Quinn. Tofu picks up the double, both mid laners drop, and in the meantime, Venno died up at top, huh? And that was a, a needed move into that mid lane. Pango was starting to slip behind the TA and farm. Again, though, the focus is up at top on this Venomancer. He's got boots and gets into tower range. And becomes a little tankier there as Ame jumps atop the trees and then back down again. Tofu and Celery now up in this top spot, aiming for DY. The sluggish slow tree and down to a crawl, but the deny from Ame with the nice Jingu done. damage. I'm just looking at how this Primal Beast and TA are farming, looking very good for themselves. A Venom Ounce of 35 and 11, though. Nasty numbers being put up by Ace. And they dive this tier one again. Ame, half health from the Hellbear, the slows <laughs> clapping onto this Monkey King. Lotus is being popped on him. Ame trying to stand. Can he fight, deny him? Yes, he can. Ame this time, DY. Returning the, the favor. plays really nicely done. As Jin Q has arrived, there's a few stacks up on this DY tree. And Jin Q is going to move over onto Tofu. Deny him, Jin Q. Go for the deny. <laughs> Go deny DY. Where are you, team? Ah, tree and down. The poison stacks are enough to kill off Tofu on the left hand side. Needs to be undeniable. Like Amazing it's just stupid. Like <laughs> the, the zero is already in a bad spot. Like why? Yeah. Why make him difficult? Tofu oh, chasing Ame. He looks With celery. very dead here unless he gets some help. It's not coming. It's Game and Gladiators that has even more help for themselves. Quinn making the rotation top. And now TPing down bottom because Duracio is being run at. Lasso is there for the Primal Beast. Duracio is already dead though to the poison of Shinkyu. Tofu came here to try and save the day, but it's not going to accomplish anything. The shiny, metallic-looking red dragon in his bottom lane, battering away at everybody. Looked like it, didn't it? Looked like he hit it, yeah. That's a deny in my book. Quinn playing aggressive onto Ame as a swashbuckle. There's Jingu, but that's only one point in it. Hasted Pango. Drag him out. Dancing around him. They can't drag him out of the ring, not lasting long enough, but Duracho's arrival will bring the damage they need to kill him off. And again, Gaming Gladiators, four heroes in the area to bring down Army's Monkey King. So I think your point about someone else carrying this it really stands true. TA and Primal have got a lot on their plate. Maybe a move up top onto Ace. XXS with that blink forward, pulverizing the Venomancer. And it's a pretty tanky fella, though, with Spirit Vessel, Double Bracer. Wukong's command going to come out. It's required. Ace still alive, barely surviving. Now finally dies as XXS drops lower and lower. And the Rolling Thunder in from Quinn. He's, he's stuck. stuck. He trapped it between a rock and a hard place. Monkey King is going to jump up atop the canopy, get away along the trees as XM arrives into the fight. But Game Gladiators have had enough. Venno for Primal Beast, an honorable trade. Offlaner for offlaner. Something about these Pango players, they always find a new place to Unless. get stuck at. XM, Overgrowth. The Ooh. Banish. Banish at the same time. And XM still being run at. They've got Diffuser Blade Inhibit slow in three seconds time. Quinn just needs to close the gap with a Shield Crash and a Swashbuckle. Slow down XM. Mouth Strike's thrown back at him because TA knows that she's dead. Duracho comes in with Celery to sweep through another kill. That's Ame, just on a different side of the map, sending out his scout monkeys. Yeah, to go back to the point, jabs with Road of Atos, kind of carried the game with that item build. Oh no, XM dead again. Yeah, caught by the Ancients. Good sweeping move from Gaming Gladiators over I think they're the all map. immortals, not Ancients. Uh, yeah. Now I've and... forgotten. I, I had like two questions I wanted to ask you, and now I've forgotten both of them. <laughs> 
Oh. You, you know what I do when I forget something? I go to the same place where I was at initially, and then I remember it. Ah, uh, mate. Well, will Ame remember how to survive here against Doraccio? And CK very nearly just solo killed the Monkey King, still standing here and fighting, but he's going to get trampled upon by XXS. The Primal Beast is running away, though. So it's just Doraccio on his own, taking on the world. Madness. Up at top, Tofu going to get banished, but now Quinn has free reign. Get him on top of Shinkyu's Shadow Demon. And swipe and slice and crash and kill a spree there for Quinn's Pangolier. Things are looking very difficult for Extreme Gaming right now. They need so many items. XM, he got Gale. XXS gonna try and come in and save him with a nice onslaught trample. Pangolier gonna get pulverized now. XM still has a bunch of poison on him and Celery or oh, Duraccio from the left and the right. A double punch and it's Quinn that picks up the kill. Swashbuckles down the TA. Another reality rift onto XXS. Does get the onslaught for a bit of distance. Denied. But look at all kill the him, Just kill him, him for the lols. He's, he's not gonna get- Mate, might die one more time. My reflection. He's not getting out of this one if Ace manages to catch him with Throat of Athos or Gale. They see him, they Athos, they catch, and Ame, no way out. Dead for the fifth time this game. That's pretty cool. Well, Ame's gonna continue farming Ancients. XM down bottom is protected by Jinq right now. Gaming gladiators are swarming the southern part of the map, and Tofu has the perfect read. Save potential, not gonna work, not gonna he happen. Got silenced. Silence on the left, stuns on the right. XM being caught. The Aghanim scepter out of Quinn, spamming out swashbuckle left and right. I've already killed off XM. And Jinq, what did he just TP down there? Did he? Yep, out of gold. It's like the classic, if only, you know, something was different, it would have been different. Yes. That's what the difference makes. Oh, Ace. Uh, he's being found out here by the Primal Beast. Shadow Demon going to pair up with him. Venomancer is quite tanky. But when you have no backup and no escape, you are just fodder here for the Primal Beast. You're also level 12. So level 2 ulti, not that it makes a big of difference. Just some extra damage, doesn't scale that good. Who do they ulti? I heard a Shadow Demon Purge and a Pulverize on Enchantress. I see that. They've also got a catch onto the D, uh, the CK, Chaos Knight. He turns to try and fight. Arme taking a bit of burst damage there, but his Radiance Mischance helping out tremendously. Meanwhile, the other fight, XXS BKB TP, gets away from Quinn, Tofu, Celery. Just TP Ace, out, it's that easy. Venom, chased down and killed off. XM gets the takedown on the Venomans. And now, Gaming Gladiators, they're three alive with Pango Aegis, but they're fighting. Put Duraccio on a B tier list, him and Yuma, and he put himself, you know, of course, his boyfriend uh, from Team Yatoro. Spirit, Yatoro S tier, <laughs> and put himself as an A slash S tier. DY, the sacrifice down in the bottom lane as Extreme Gaming try to escape through the Twin Gate. And Quinn's following. Shin Q getting chased down by the Pango, the Rolling Thunder, right on time. A roll up, turn around, nice U turn there on the spot. Very quickly dispatches with the two supports of Extreme Bank on Ame and XM. Yeah, they'll get Carpal Tunnel from clicking so much, trying to chase <laughs> them across the map. <laughs> hey now, hand fatigue is no joke. DY doing his funny little business on this left hand side of the map does get taken down. And maybe with Duraccio's move alongside Celery onto this primal beast, a lot of damage. No time to BKB through the Orchid and the stun. Disruption there comes, but XXS is dead nonetheless. Mm, that's a big one. So, two protector for now. XM going for the full wraparound. Has that Vampire Fang so he can see him before they can see him. Having that extra night vision and another lasso to secure a kill. Uh, they know how to execute the team fights. They know what the weaknesses are right now for Gaiman, and they're kind of trying to abuse it. They are getting picked off, but, uh, you know, at the moment, not feeling fight ready. Well, there's the jump. Straight onto Venno, blows up Ace. Never mind. Again, gladiators were not expecting that. It came out of nowhere. Nobody expected it. XXS and XM exsanguinate the Venomancer. And now with the last one to the TA, the problem is being focused by the CK. The turnaround from Gaming Gladiators is powerful and strong. 
XM being run at by the Chaos Knight now, as Quinn's Rolling Thunder has already dealt with DY. XM, the BKB wearing off, he's in the meld, hidden atop the staircase. Refractions back up, and a buyback from Extreme brings the Trinity into play. Duraccio disappears to Ame and XM. They blew up two cores, they lost the Primal Beast, the Treant buys back, but that's a win for XG. It really is, DUI with one BKB coming off cooldown at the same time as Vukong's, and that's a level 3 Vukong, so... 24 armor, lower cooldown on it, craggy armor picked up by Treant Protector, so he's gonna have a lot of that. XXS gets off the BKB before the lasso, can he turn around and fight this? Duraccio pops the Phantasm, BKB's up himself. They jump in to the Wukong. He's inside the, the Wukong. He's stuck in there and Duraccio's dying to Ame's Monkey King. XM will turn and swipe into Quinn. Pango jumping off the left with the Blink Dagger now, trying to find safety. Refuge on the left side of the fight to kill off the Treant. Gaming Gladiator uh -oh, still Ame's moving in trouble forward. Now. Ame getting tagged up by the Venomous Gale, slow to a crawl, and in comes Quinn yet again. The real carry the disruption. Slapping them all, disruption to buy time. XXS about to die and Quinn, look at him drop so He's quickly. The mouth strike. Minus armor, ow mate, he dies to Celery in the end. Three for four so far, and XM not done just yet. Shadow Demon and TA catching up to this Enchantress. The Untouchable is so annoying. You're starting to swing attacks into the end, slowly chipping away at her, and then she turns and nearly kills you in Q with one hit. Dodges the second with a nice bubble. Celery into the Roche Pit again. The dance around the Roche Pit, nice gonna favor Jin Q. Nicely Absolutely done by him beautiful. and XM. It's also good in the game. Drow Ranger, Templar Assassin, these ranged right clickers who do tremendous damage through the Rolling Thunder, through the roll up, really making Quinn's life a living hell here. But Gaming Gladiators wanting to strike back while Roshan is being taken. They grab the Treant, kill him through Lasso. Roshan about to die though, and XM and Arme in the pound. Oh, the flame break. Aegis is still grabbed by Arme. But in comes Celery with Ace. Damage over time with a Noxious Plague. Arme does have that second life. Disruption buys a bit of time. Healing back up a little bit there with a Boundless Strike, but can't get any Jinko stacks and the first life is claimed. Onslaught forward, XXS going deep in here. Looking at Ace's Venomancer, but he's been jumped by Duraccio. Reality Rift in the crit, but Arme with the BKB's dogs. up. They're onto Duraccio CK. XM with the Mel Strikes and the Minus Armor nearly clearing through him, but Duraccio, ooh, gets away. The four staff, the saves, the plays from Gaming Gladiators. Now the turnaround. Arme in trouble, but XM swipes through Duraccio CK now. Monkey King will fall atop that Twin Gate Cliff, and XM the only one left standing here. Oh, he dead. might get a kill here. Oh, that was close. But Quinn is cleaning up. Qu Quinn playing this fight uh, pretty much perfectly. Has that Octarine. There's six abilities that he can use now with Shard and Fresh Depot Dagger Interceptor. They're in. Ooh. Good pike, though. Nice for Celery. And that allows the lasso onto the Monkey King to come in. Ah, mate. He's gone with that buyback. JQ couldn't play. He got hit by Venovord. They're just going to run straight in here onto XXS. Primal Beast, the BKBs, Overgrowth from DY, buys a little bit of time. They're just going to have to let this barracks fall, though, it looks like, as the Treant gets slain by Aces Venno. Two heroes dead, no buyback available, and Gaming Gladiator straight into that mid lane for another set of barracks. Ooh, so many wards on the grounds. No living armor, no Monkey King, so no zoning ulti from the Wukongs, no heal from the living armor. Malirax in the mid lane is gone. Rodovatos. Catch from XXS onto Tofu though. Fat Rider being hammered into the ground. Duraccio turns and gives it to XXS. Dead for one minute. And he'll force Staff Duraccio back to safety. Get out of here after taking that mid lane. One last set of barracks for Extreme. Oh my god, speaking of scaling, Enchantress and Monkey King Bar done. He wants Ame. The pain. With those items. Monkey King Bar, Enchanted Quiver, XXS Jin. On the Enchantress. Celery. Oh, the Rock Throw misses. And they struggle to get the finish. Ame with the Wukongs. Quinn, though, with the Rolling Thunder towards the back. Now with the Noxious Plague being chucked at them. Trin in trouble. Overgrowth used. Quinn stuck Ame's in place on a for different now. side. But yeah, Ame just died to the Enchantress. Look at Celery! Magical rainbows of death and destruction, killing off Extreme Gaming. And it looks like they've got nothing left in the tank now. Tier 3 is about to drop. They've got a lasso to drag back the Primal Beast. Phantasm from Duraccio. And XXS, another death. This might be it. This is the time that they might call it. 59 seconds without Ame. 59 
without Primal Beast, so they have enough time to try to go and end the game. Celery going for the high five. They just don't have enough time, not enough power. They went for the Enchantress, but she lives, and then Ame is left alone. The rest of the team needs to play around them. They need to back him up, and the, that Aghanim Scepter has just been finished. They're going for the throne. Just end it. Tech down the throne. What can Extreme Gaming do? TA is going to come out of base. Duratio's fake pumping stuns at her. And the throne. Does Extreme Gaming go for Drow Ranger? Here are we. Pretty sad up here. Just going to try and body block the large camp. The other side lane, though, down at bottom. Disruption onto Duratio. No level in rage yet. So XXS and Chin Q right on top of this lifestealer. Going to bring him down for first blood. Traded out. The SD there as Celery picks it up, but a good move from Extreme Gaming in that bottom lane. Solo experience to Ace, who is already like halfway through level 3. Duraccio being chased away from lane bottom. Still level 2. He's dead to poison here, it looks like. Five stacks up. Ooh, not quite. Just about stays alive. Needed one more. I think he could have started to run away because he... Doesn't find any of the vision. Tofu under Dire Ward, right next to a Radiant one. Oh, DY he gets the, the shield cross. rune. Quinn, he's in. Disrupted for now. XM toss back he's still into his death. And Quinn, he survives. That's what we said. He maxed out, which is pure damage, and just gets a Pulse Nova. So, another good start for gaming. This tower is going to go down. Lesh with the shield rune. We'll just bring the tower. They're gonna get another, another one. Freebie. Man, two fingers, and right another one. And another one. Now, Jin Q in trouble. Celery with a homing missile. 5 to 1. 2k lead. Tier 1 tower dead. Gaming Glad here just putting all the puzzle pieces together here. Duraccio does die bottom, though. Ame. The Black Phoenix, level 4, Shadow Demon. These are two, like, very sluggish, slowish support. The Shadow Demon isn't if he does have a hero to play with, some kind of a stun, some kind of a setup, but ooh, Tofu catches a mid dive, gets another kill, and this is going to be another tower for Gaiman. Yeah, this is going to get out of hand very, very quickly. Just telling Pango that this is life stealer's jungle. Ooh, Quinn is chasing. He just caught DY. We'll dive. Wolves are still going to chase him, and there is Rocket coming, so DY looks very dead here. All he wants is level 6, man. Just need to arrive. Life still a TPing means Extreme Gaming have really nothing to do down here any further. Is he going to try? He gets the Double range ult. before the Doom. Triple, Triple ult. Triple ult coming in onto Life Stealer. It looks like they've got him. Yeah, Demonic Purge and the Doom gets him taken down. I, I don't know. I was expecting more Gaming Gladiators heroes to come. So many times we've seen them struggle in the early stages of the game and then making a comeback. Jin Q. Smoke into smoke. Rolling Thunder. Not available yet, but Quinn is in a bad spot. Yeah, he's dying to the Drow Ranger. Self disruption from SD keeps him safe. Dominating streak taken by Ame. So he'll race up to the second spot in net worth and probably overtake the Lash now, seeing as Quinn is dead. So <laughs> and then no Extreme extremes. Gaming were like, okay, they're definitely doing Roche with the lineup. We saw this Helm being available. They're going to get Garaccio one more time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, again, he got the rage off before the Doom, but XXS, Q and XM, they all arrived to kill him off. Gaming Gladiator is trying to get into position with his ace shapeshift, hunting for the support in the back. Good disruption, but Q, the TP, is that enough to get him out? Oh, Ooh, it is. Just enough. Nicely done. XXS, in the meantime, being chased down by Celery. Let's see if he can slip away from this like his Shadow Demon did. Tofu says no. Cuts him off at the pass and kills off the Doom. Uh, not another good delaying move by Extreme Gaming. Kill off. This vehicle for Lifestealer, you can always, you know, get Aghanim Scepter, bite Lifestealer, bite Tiny. Yeah. TI-11 I... has been super popular. <laughs> Go back to the, the old days. I found the left track here. He's trying to haste away, but they've got enough control to kill him off. I said they've got no stuns, kill. but if the Pango can land three rolling thunders and a couple of disruptions from Jinkyu, they've got plenty. Left track dying two times. Life Stealer's Radiance getting delayed. Another Doom is available and they're gonna smoke. Right in onto the Leshrac. 
XXS with DY burning him with a Sunray and Quinn. Two deaths in quick succession. He bought his Bloodstone as he died, so no major losses in net worth. But Extreme Gaming, like, not really even using Ame, right? They're just playing as the other four together, causing havoc, finding individual targets, and getting big kills. Now move for more. Onto the Gyro. Why the hell not? Jump into high ground. Salary getting dived upon. Infernal Blade is there. Tofu Swash. is looking for a re-entry. He just denied a tower, and it looks like he's enough to keep Celery alive. And because there was one available on DY, Roshan, all it down to half HP. It's going down quickly. XXS oh, jumps in, gets the Doom. Does jump forward, but he's about to die. Supernova Sunray there with XM falling. Thunder crashing in towards the ledge. Aegis picked up by Quinn, so he'll die but respawn immediately after. But Ame, he's a gust. He's arrived at the fight, the gust, and now the multi shot, killing off the life stealer. Oh, Ace, he's found Ame in the back lines, charging in with the shapeshift, running towards the Drow Ranger, but she's TP'd out. There's no stun to connect no on her. Fruit, no blink. XM, same story. TP's out. Tofu didn't have a lunch. I believe it was ready. For other people to join, you can pick them up. This is a uh, triangle I... infestation from Gaming Gladiators. Let's see how it ends. DY. Trying to munch on the Phoenix, toss back onto the Drow, killing Arme. Now with the Rolling Thunder Sunray, they're trying to fight Extreme Gaming even without the Arme Drow. Lifestealer doomed in trouble as well. He's dropped. XXS got the takedown, but Ace is munching on them. A double kill for the Lycan here. A chase in towards Tofu, XM and in. Jin-Q, Tofu finds him. Catches the Shadow Demon now into the nice split earth from Quinn. And three down on the side of Extreme Gaming gives Gaming Gladiators a good position here to pivot into mid. Sordoraccio. They know the life stealer is off to this left hand side. He's waiting for the Ancient Count to respawn. He's going to come back under vision in a second, but they're actually going in towards mid for an easier target. Tiny, Tofu, going to get connected on by this Rolling Thunder. XM will now disengage with the rest of the squad. And Duraccio just, you know, praying hands emoji. Thank you, Tofu. Getting rid of the Harpy Scout. <laughs> I forgot about that. That one, 250. Remember the old times when Ogre position 5, Helm of the Dominator. Tiny, he's oh. in. There's a toss on Phoenix. Blows him up. Hand grenade Phoenix. And now the chase towards XXS. Oh my god, the damage. Tremendous damage out of these two. Life Dealer and the Lycan munch on them. Rolling Thunder is out onto the Doomed Life Dealer in the back. Quinn trying to chase and catch up to Arme. His ace runs straight into the Drow Ranger as well. Jin Q maybe can come and help out as XM disengages. Drow turns to stand and fight on the glacier. glacier. Battling into Ace gets the kill. Oh, up gets up another one. The high ground. Arme is too strong. Looks down upon the peasants below her, and Drow Ranger <laughs> says, I'm the queen of this fight. Yeah, that was such a nice play from Ame. They head to the bathroom. I'm getting a banana. I struggle to remember how old I am on a regular basis. I'm not going to remember the little things that you're saying about <laughs> testing stuff. Oh, we bye bye, need, DY. We need a document to fill. Celery's going to scout him out. Says hello to Radiant Roshan. Might get spotted here. Ame's Drow Ranger is coming straight down to the pit. Atop the glacier and celery. What's that? Five, six hits. Has to use to buy a bit of time, but he's dead nonetheless. Nine one one. They're bringing numbers here. They've, yeah, they've called nine one one. The fast response unit tried the harpoon from the lycan on the drow, but Arme gets back to high ground now. Duraccio glacier in a inside. second. He's infested, and the drow ranger's dying. They get the kill on Arme. That's a huge one. He buys back. They want to continue he wants the fight. to come back into a fight. Doom available Quinn. as well. His BKB, the crit there, 1,097 damage from Ace onto Shin Q. Double buyback from Extreme Gaming around this Roshan. Gaming Gladiators running back, making sure they can reset. They know they're still Doom. There's still a big Drow Ranger out on the map right now. Ooh. XXS, he backs compared to only one on Gaming. Well, they know there's no shapeshift, right? 20 seconds. In or Infest has just come off cooldown, so that's available. Roshan. He heard someone knocking on the door, but it's a ding dong dash as Extreme Gaming. They move on to Duraccio. Life Stealer in fast inside the Doom, I believe. The Rolling Thunder to the far left and the Supernova Sunray. Right atop the high ground here. Well placed by DY. Allowing the Doom to ulti the Life Stealer and DY. XM chasing up onto him. He's flying, he's flapping. The Life Stealer's out of there. They turn he's tail still gonna and look die. at the Lycan now. Avalanche Toss trying to get the Ace Lycan out of here. Duraccio did die in the end. Has to buy back. And Extreme Gaming, now it's their turn to reset. 
Stand on this high ground again, army. On top of the glacier. Duracho's coming Ooh, from the back end, but he's just dying. Backwards. Infests back into the doom. Lifestealer could come out and just get blown up, though. The gust into the right clicks. Ace is moving onto the drow. d dropping low. Arme trying to create space and get off to the right-hand side. They can they help Arme. Time for Arme. Glacier is back up again. Multi-shot flying. Ace and Quinn turning in onto the stuns. Looking at Arme, but they can't kill him off. Drow range is too strong. There's no way of stopping. The range right clicks raining down onto gaming gladiators. I Another pike, another kill, another I'm back gust, again. and another move here. Life Stealer, he's going to get taken down, surrounded by enemies, and Extreme Gaming, the ultra kill from Ame. That has to be like 15,000 damage that came from Ame in this fight. Daedalus, level 25 right now. This might be the end of the game if they can get some of these big kills right now. Those buybacks, right, XXS. These are diebacks if they die here. XXS does fall, buys back himself. Arme, the glacier just keeps coming back up to kill off Quinn. Two minutes, no less, no life stealer. Another Stop banish, fighting. another target lined up for extreme and a double kill for Arme. Stop fighting so I can see the fight recap because it's, it, I don't have the button. It, right in, GG. Quinn taps out and so do Gaming Gladiators. Extreme Gaming, another 1-1 tie.